Harper Matheson has been at a bit of a loss since arriving in Summer Bay earlier this year. She arrived in town seeking help from old friend Cash, who she met through her job as a social worker. She ended up losing her job thanks to her involvement in harboring sister Dana, who was wanted on drug charges. Since then, she's filled her days with countless PT sessions and classes at Summer Bay Fit, practically keeping the business afloat. Dana was quick to make it known that she found the gym's owner, Dane, Ethan Brown, attractive, but Flick overheard their conversation and pointed out that Tane was already taken. Fast forward just a few weeks and Tane is now well and truly single, having ended his marriage to Felicity after discovering she was still taking her birth control pills, despite the pair having agreed to try for a baby. Tane wasted no time in moving on, heading out drinking and bringing back a one-night stand who housemate Molly stumbled across the following morning. Felicity discovered Tane's actions soon after, when she overheard Cash telling Eden. Last week, Harper became concerned for Tane's well-being when she found him in the gym, pummeling the punching bag to within an inch of its life. Despite his best efforts to resist, Harper eventually convinced Tane to open up to her, insisting that she was a social worker, not a counselor, and she was only there to talk as a friend. This week. As Felicity continues with her attempts to win her husband back, she suffers a setback when she sees him growing close to Harper, leading to a dramatic showdown in the surf club. Tane's decided to cut me out of his life once and for all, Felicity tells Cash. I begged him not to give up on us. He's not just going to wake up one morning and change his mind on this, Cash explains to his sister. Well, I'll make him change his mind, she retorts. Felicity sets to work preparing Tane a box of belongings and memories, photos and mementos from their wedding day, which she hopes will remind them of what they had and convince him not to throw it away. However, as Tane talks with Harper on the beach, it seems like his mind is made up, with the time apart giving him a chance to reflect on all of the lies and turbulence that have characterized their relationship since they first got together. I've been fighting for this relationship ever since I met Felicity. Felicity approaches Tane at the surf club, where he gives her a curt what do you want, in response to her friendly greeting. Undeterred, she sits him down and hands over the box of romantic memories. She's overjoyed when she later spies him from the balcony of salt, heading to the outdoor seating area and opening the box. Will her plan work? Sadly, she's heartbroken when she sees Harper approach Tane, and the two sit down together to begin looking through the possessions. As Tane takes out the picture of the previously loved up couple on their wedding day, he places it upside down on the table, leaving Flick crushed. Soon after, she confronts Harper in the surf club. I saw the two of you, she begins, before Tane comes over asking what's going on. Those were our memories, from our wedding Flick tells her husband, but she doesn't get the reaction she was hoping for, as Tane is more concerned with the fact that she was spying on them. Can't you see what she's doing? Asks Felicity, referring to Harper. I don't know what you think is going on, says Harper, ready to defend herself, but Felicity butts in, I know what's going on, you need to back off, 